Hey everyone, this is Color Hill from Destination Thrills, and I am back playing RCT3. If you were checking out our last video that we did, we were starting a boardwalk park on an island that I had created. And so we had started some stuff, and I haven't touched it since then. So you're going to be with me as we build these rides at the park. Um, if you want to get caught up, I recommend checking out the video. Whoa, that's loud. I recommend checking out the video in the card above. That'll take you to the last video that we did in the series. And as you can see right now, it is nighttime in the park. And honestly, I've been playing so many different games that it's going to take me a second to get used to moving around here. So I apologize. Also, I know it looks like I'm in my like creepy basement. And that's because I am. That's where I'm filming this. <laughs> I have these like... What is that fire thing? That's Oh, that's... <laughs> wow. Yeah, so... I don't even remember what I did last time at the park, but this all looks so cool. We have a fire going on. So it is gonna be nighttime here. I guess that means I'm gonna have to start putting some lights in the park, but let's go ahead and pause this real quick because I have people, you know, walking around and I don't even have anything open at the moment. So, um, but yeah, so this is where we left off. Uh, I, just, I just built this free fall, um, the shot tower here. And it's got some really cool lights on it. Um, I forget if you can control the lights in the game or not. So let's go ahead and add an entrance way real quick. Okay, so we just built the entrance path. And now let's go ahead and build the exit ramp. And if it looks like I'm struggling on these, when I could do the fast play, it's because I am. Okay, so now that the pathway is done, let's go ahead and, well, that's rides testing. So a lot of you guys made the comment of possibly building out this boardwalk further, and I probably will, but um, I don't know if you can see, but the park actually ends like, Where's my grid of the park? Hold on. I think the, my, the last bit of land... Oh wait, no, I can go all the way out here. I did not even know that. Okay, so yeah, we are gonna probably build this pathway out all the way here. I didn't even know the own park I built. Great. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna build this boardwalk out, and I think the farthest it goes... Yeah, here's a little fence line you can see here. Um, wow, I did not know I had all that land. Great. So, let's build some rides. I think that's what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on building some rides for this park. And like I said, I've been jumping between so many games. I've been playing some No Limits 2, trying to learn that. That has been a struggle. Um, I've had some requests to post that as well, so I may post a video of me struggling through No Limits 2. Um, I tried to build an RMC. It's all right. <laughs> um, also, I've been playing um, some RCT two as well so that has been really fun guys i don't have a name for our our shot tower i need a name for it i'm gonna let you guys in the comments below name our shot tower how about that so i'm gonna put no name here and you guys in the comments name the shot tower okay let's play it because i want to i want it to be daytime can i control that yeah let's go to daytime Ooh, things just got brighter hold on <laughs> Now that we're in day, let's build some rides. So I kind of want to build the park out in this direction with some rides. I, like I said, Luna Park is kind of the um, inspiration behind this. So I kind of want to give it some Luna Park vibes. And I like how the there's that kind of that boardwalk area. You kind of go down, it's kind of like elevated, and then you go down into where a lot of the flat rides are. And I really like that part. And that's what I kind of want to do with this park here. So we're gonna have like a little pathway that goes <clears throat> underneath. I already have one bathroom there and a first aid there. I have our information desk. So I'm trying to keep in mind that there's gonna be some other things like an ATM we'll probably have to add. Maybe I'll add that in this area too. Um, but let's build it out here. Okay, let's... Let's find a good flat right here. Oh, discus. I feel like we have to have that at some point. Um, 
double swing inverter though, it's cool too. I want something compact for right now, because right now, uh, until we expand into the other area, we, we have some limited space we want to deal with, so let's think compact. Oh, and sanity, that looks so sweet. Is that like a... Hold on a second. Is this like, um, like an Excalibur? No way. Oh, that's got to go in. <laughs> yeah, let's put this right here behind. Yeah, this is where I want to put this. That's sweet. Let's put our Excalibur right here. Is that what it is? I guess we'll have to watch a test, but it... Yeah, this is what it looks like here. Let's hit play. You know, our park is... People are going to be running around our park that really isn't open. While that's testing, let's go ahead and put our pathways. Oh, that is... That's Excal... Wow. Well, no, no, it's swaying. If it would have done a full rotation, then yeah. That's not the pendulum ride I wanted in our park, but <laughs> I guess it's the one that we're going to have to deal with. And I'm going to do something fun with this. I'm actually going to make it go up into our main pathway. I kind of want it to connect so we have at least like one area on the midway you can connect. And again, with this pathway, I'm going to take it out on this side of the ride here. What other flat rides should we add here? I want to put two flat rides and then I want to put like a gentle uh, kid-like ride. So we have our... Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I thought that was going to be a totally different thing. I almost want to get rid of it now. Is Roto Drop... Is that a drop tower too? That like spins? Sky SWAT. What the heck? Spin Doc... Oh, I feel like Spin Doctor definitely... That's... No, that's not a... Uh, that's not Catwoman's Whip, is it? <laughs> oh, I feel like you gotta get the classic zipper. Is it, this is turning into like a fairground, is what this is really turning into at this point. Um, oh, and it's compact too, like it's just so perfect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put a zipper here. For sure. Okay. Put that here, put that here. Okay, so let's get that testing too. And I'm not gonna name any of these rides. You guys can name all three of them. And if nobody gives them a name, then I'm just gonna leave it a zipper. <laughs> I don't really have like a theme going on. I guess I could start making these like Hawaii themed. Um, I guess that's what I need to do. Come up with some like Hawaiian names. I actually just, sorry, I'm looking at my phone. I just got um, getting notifications from you guys watching my Six Flags uh, Great America video that I released today, the removal. So that was, those videos are actually kind of hard to do. Like if you don't research them properly, you're gonna get somebody in the comments that's like, you didn't know about blah, 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 blah. You know, they're just as hard as the next coaster videos. Um, but I like doing them. I like speculation videos and I feel like you guys enjoy them. So that's why I try to do some. I think I'm gonna, let's, Let's do something exciting this episode. I don't want to leave you guys with something stupid. Let's let's pause this and let's build this wooden coaster. I need to, I, there's probably a better way I can do this. Let's. How do I get the grid though, guys? I really am bad at this game. <laughs> Select area. Why don't I have? Oh. oh my gosh, I frustrate myself. I can only imagine what I do to you guys. I'm gonna need all this area cleared out. For my wooden coaster. All right. Now time to build the classic beach wooden coaster. Oh, I forgot we have all these new coaster designs too, like this drift coaster. What the hell is that? Oh, why is this all in my way? The giant flume, oh, that's in here too. That's sweet. And the half pipe coaster. Oh, Hershey. <laughs> There's one called Hershey Storm Runner. Interesting. Too bad they don't have RMC in this. That'd be so sweet. Because then we could, like, build this wooden coaster and then, like, RMC it later on. Yeah, that would be sweet. You know, if you guys know of, like, um, because some people come up with a lot of custom stuff for this game. If there's an RMC custom, like, design that somebody built for this, let me know. Because I would totally try it out on this wooden coaster, like, later on. Okay, so eventually this path is going to come out to here, so I want to put the station... Ugh. I kind of want it to start here, 
and then like the most the majority of the wooden coaster is going to be like in this area so we'll start it like here and then it'll like come back to the station so kind of like an out and back wooden coaster but we don't have a lot of space to deal with which whose fault is that i built the park so i want to make this probably about like a 150 feet would be nice talking about like some boss height here is that gonna be too much yeah it's probably gonna be too much i probably need to stick to like a a gci level here stick to about 100 let's let's just do 100 115 feet how about that tallest tallest coaster in hawaii look it up <laughs> some hardcore G's at the bottom here. So it's not gonna be out and back, it's gonna have to be like a spin. Well, now that I think about it, this is gonna be an, I, I, you know what? I got something cool I wanna do. So I'm gonna make it come up here. Right, right on the beach here. Oh, we're gonna be like right into our Oh, perfect. Okay, so let me just go straight a little bit. And you, you know what's awesome about this game is that you can have the ride test. So let's do that. Where? Ah, right here. I want to see if this will make it. What do they got? Five? No, I'm going to want to have... I'm probably going to have eight. Oh, is that a GCI? Are we building a GCI here? <sighs> Guys, should we do as PTC or should we do GCI? I think we should do We gotta go classic. We gotta go buzz bars. Whoa, that's hella classic. Ooh, we can do the, uh, the six seater, six seater cars. Oh, these are sweet. Oh, that's so cool. I forgot you could do GCI. That just made my day. <laughs> We're gonna build a GCI later on. With the whole turn drop and everything, oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna stick with the traditional PTC. Can I do, I wanna do six. Seven. Let's do seven. Mm. Uh, I don't know if we should do seven. Let's just, let's just see what it looks like when it goes through here. Okay, while that's testing, let's pull, make the drop go. So not quite an out and back, but it's kind of like an out and then like a, maybe like a figure eight is what we're gonna do. A little bit of a spaghetti bowl coaster. Um, okay, I think we should get rid of one of the trains. I just wanna see it go through this part though. Make sure everything's good. Ooh. Okay, I would've made it, but it's too sluggish. We need some speed behind this. That could be too many. Oh man, that thing goes slow across there. Is that gonna be too many negative Gs on that double up, you think? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I like that, I'd ride this coaster. <laughs> Let's do a barge here, looks down. Oh man, I just feel like I'm. there's so much space I could be using over here. And I also gotta think like when we expand, I'm probably gonna have to make the, like people walk under this part of the ride. So I kinda wanna leave this area of land untouched. That's going up too high, damn it. Ooh. No problemo. Let's flatten this out. Oh, of course. Duh, that's what we need to do. That's perfect. Okay. Sweet. Also, I'm going to need a cool name for this ride as well. I don't wanna, I wish I could do, have them go down slightly. Uh, yeah, because here's what I'm gonna have to do. It's gonna have to be a large helix down to get some speed. Flatten it out, let's turn it back. 
wrong direction. Whoops. Oh yeah, let's just like increase the lats like that. Look at that. Lat city. <laughs> okay, we need to we need to turn this. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is turning out perfect. Because now we can just bunny hop it back. Oh, perfect. And then we can put a block break here. My friend Taylor, he, um, we play Roller Coaster Tycoon too sometimes, me and my, my buddy Matt and Taylor, and Taylor is notorious for block breaks, so if he sees this video, which I don't know if he will, but he's probably gonna criticize where I'm putting my block breaks on this, so. I might have to change this later on. He's about efficiency and I'm just about like, look. The only problem I have is that trying to go back underneath the structure with a pathway, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe right through here. That'll be a walkway to get to that side of the park, but I like this coaster, guys. It's not long, but it's it's giving me like a, a the classic vibe. Is that sand? Okay, I'm like, is that too low? <laughs> Look at this, we got we got sand on the track, guys, great. Whoa, whoa. I say my park will be closed immediately. One flood in this, this park is wiped out, but. Oh, look at the bird, it's flying. Okay, ADD, let's, let's reel it in here. Uh, all right. Let's, oh, we can ride it too. Oh, I forgot. I forgot we can ride these. We can ride this coaster. Okay, why though? What happens to the rest? Okay, I was like, what happened to the rest of the trains? We also want to make it a two train. We gotta get those. Wait, what? Did I not put the block break here? Guys, what did I do? I put a block. I put a block break. What is going on? Why can't I make it two trains? Why can't I do two trains? What is going on? This is gonna be like real classic. I can't even put two trains on the damn thing. Guys, am I am I being dumb here? What what's uh <laughs> What did I do? Okay, well I'll figure that out later. Maybe somebody will comment by then. Let's ride this though. How do you ride these roads? Oh we're gonna change the color and everything. Guys, I haven't ridden a coaster also in a while, so this is like giving me the vibes of like actually being on a coaster. Darn coronavirus, man. What the heck is that? Okay. All right, all right, solid, solid first drop. Okay, ooh, okay. all right. What, what's going on over there? We got a tsunami coming? Crap, okay. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, you gotta like the S, yeah. Double up, okay, we probably had some wicked ejector air on that double up <laughs> with the buzz bars. Okay. Oh, well, we got the tsunami. This probably looks pretty cool. It's not a fast paced wooden coaster. You, you know, we got a lot of slow areas. Ooh, that's probably some good, That's that was like some, uh, some magnum ejector airtime we had going on that last part. Okay, not bad. I still want to figure out why we can't do two trains. That's gonna bug me. Sorry, apparently on my Canon that you can only record 30 minutes at a time. I didn't even know I was recording for 30 minutes. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video. <laughs> but yeah, we built the wooden coaster. So I need help with names on two flat rides. We got the zipper and the, what I thought was Excalibur, but it's some kind of pendulum ride, and then our wooden coaster. I'm gonna make it like that classic white color scheme. So like that white wooden coaster. Um, but yeah, I need like a, a good name. Think of something like Tropical Island Hawaiian theme. I'll, those will definitely win out. Um, and if you guys don't come up with anything, then I'll just name it myself, I don't care. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're gonna leave it off today. Um, building this wooden coaster, pretty solid. Um, I'll figure out how to get two trains running on this thing because I have a feeling our guests are gonna want to um, see these guys here. They're gonna they're gonna want to uh, 
get on that ride. Before we go, let's open up some of these rides so that way our new guests aren't like wondering what the heck is going on. And we'll give it all a good color scheme. We also need to build out more stuff with the boardwalk. So a lot of work has to be done on this park. And I don't plan on playing this until I do another video for you guys. So be on the lookout um, for another video in the series. And I might do some updates to it before we come back. Just so we don't have to watch all the boring stuff of like me putting pathways in and stuff like that. But I think the next time we're here, we're going to put in another set of flat rides and family rides. And then we'll really like theme the area I think it's definitely gonna need a couple more flat rides but let's like get let's make the beach area look cool maybe we'll extend the boardwalk out and then let's be officially open for business here so park is looking good I'm excited about it and like I said I want this to be interactive so um, definitely give me your thoughts on what you want to see for this park any ideas that you might have as certain rides that should go I want this to be like our park with you guys the viewers and, ooh, look at this, we already got, look at these people just lining up. Okay. Guys, this is gonna be a good park. I'm already telling you, look at all these people. Look at this. <sighs> all right, thank you for watching this video. Stick around for episode three coming in the future. And like I said, I don't always do these gaming videos. Um, I do a lot of coaster speculation, reviews, um, battles, rankings, all those types of videos. And I'm doing these right now because we're in lockdown and I have the time to and just coming up with something to share with you guys because now that we're not at the theme parks, there really is nothing else to do right now. So I figured I will start this series and um, there will definitely be more of these to come. So stick around for episode three coming soon and help me name these rides. All right, take care guys, bye.